helping you revive and thrive this morning. It is the first day of summer and doctors are talking about skin cancer and ways to protect ourselves. Sean Chitna is now with why we are seeing really the highest rates of sunburn since 2020 and some ways to do better. Angelica Gorbin is looking forward to summer and spending more time outside. Well, it's San Francisco, so it's still a bit chilly, but I'm very excited for it to get a little bit warmer and for the sun to come out. Ahead of the warmer weather she's hoping for and her summer plans, she's checking in with a dermatologist. So I was on vacation for a couple of weeks and I was pretty negligent with my sunscreen. When I came back, I found some new moles on my arms and so I got pretty concerned. Um, so I came in today, got my skin checked and thankfully every Everything looks okay. Dr. Malcolm Piles does a routine skin exam to make sure any changes are normal and healthy. I'm not seeing any signs of skin cancer or, or even some pre-skin cancers that can be seen on the skin. Angelica says she's learning about how to be better at preventing skin cancer, realizing there are some common mistakes. Before, I didn't know you're supposed to reapply your sunscreen. Um, I would maybe apply it once in the morning and then go, you know, with my day and not reapply it. Um, but it doesn't last that long. It only lasts a couple of hours. So now I reapply it and um, I even apply it when I'm inside. Dr. Pyle says it's an important lesson because it can be the difference in avoiding some serious issues in the future. A lot of people come to us for, you know, skin exams to make sure they don't have skin cancer. But I also see an equal number of people who have had sun damage throughout their lifetime. And so I'm spending a lot of time helping to undo wrinkles, fine lines, freckles and things like that. But all of those things could have been prevented if we just wore sunscreen from the very beginning. Which is why he recommends everyone wear sunscreen each day. He says it doesn't matter your age or race. While it is true that people of color are less likely to develop a skin cancer, it's still very important to wear sunscreen just because the sun's rays are so damaging. Reminders that will help Angelica and others be ready for more time outside. I'm looking forward to some summer trips and um, spending time time in our parks in San Francisco. All right, so as we look to the first day of summer, sound out friends, use the hashtag KPIX on social and let us know your favorite summer activity. But remember, wear sunscreen. And check the expiration dates. Oh, that is so smart. It is, it actually expires. And I've run into that and checked it last minute and think, oh, I gotta go grab some more. But, cause yeah, I don't always go through the whole bottle every right. summer, but we live by the beach. We spend a lot of time outside, which is my favorite summer activity.